So before we get started on the actual making process, I want to show you where I got the flowers that I'm using. So these are the different um, flowers that I used. So let's start with this green one. This right here, this is Cricut Access, and it's called a Dahlia Wall Art. And if I click on, if I right click on the image, it's going to bring up image info, and here's the number. I'm going to click on that so you see what it looks like. So it's number MA3F4A. If you type that into your search bar, this will come out. I only use the black, um, the two back layers, the green layers. I didn't use the flowers, and I did not use the little buds for this either. Um, so that's the back layer. Let's go back into Canvas, see the next one. This yellow one here, it's a flower banner. So again, I'll right click on it, go to image info. And it's a, it's not a flower in itself. I took it from, if I click on it, go to image info, click on the flower banner. And there's the number. Make sure if you want to use that, you copy down that number. So it's a three piece um, flower banner and it comes in layers so i just hid like the back layer and just kept one of the petals and just duplicated it at different sizes um, and then go back to my canvas and then this hydrangea right here this is the creative bug hydrangea oh and just to let you know the these green layers the back layer this is the measurement here 4.32 um, in width and 3.113 in height for the back layer. Then the darker layer, the front layer, was 3.766 in width and 2.76 in height. So those are the measurements for the green. The petals, this flower, I did three different sizes. Okay, so these for the yellow one, these are the sizes. So it's two and a half, 2.25 was the middle size, and two was the smallest size and I did two petals of each so there's a total of six petals for that flower now the hydrangeas is a creative bug hydrangea again I right click on it go to image info and it's free it's a free design in Cricut in Cricut access and it's just the hydrangea petals I didn't use the leaves I just used these little um, petals for the buds and then go back to my canvas and the last one of course is the Cricut rolled rose and let me find that one for you and here it is so that's the number m435f5 and this is what it looks like when you find the image um and it's the rolled ro rows and i did one at five inches and then i did one at three inches um and that's it so let's get started creating this so i cut out all of the flowers as you can see here these are all the petals and these are the two templates for roses. So we're going to start with that first. I have my little quilling tool. And this is a Cricut um, quilling tool that I own. I just, it has like a little slit at the top, which I love. I don't know that they sell this anymore. But if you, have, if you want something similar, they have it on Amazon. Um, and I'll link to it at the body of, uh, of this video as well. So I just put it in through the little thing and you just start rolling. All you have to do is just use your fingers to guide it, um, to hold it in place, but just start rolling it until you get to the center. It goes pretty quickly. Once you start, you just literally just roll the tool and it'll get a little messy towards the end and that's okay. As long as it's on there, all you have to do at the end is just flip it off let it unravel a little bit so that it could look like a little, looks like a little rose. It could look like a little rose. Um, and then I just put a dab of glue. A dab of glue in the little white space that's there. And I want it to be fairly small because it's going to go on the wrist. And just hold it there till it dries a little bit. And then that's it. We have our first little flower. How cute is this? Tiny little thing. And this is the identical pattern, the same pattern. And I'll put a link to that pattern um, at the bottom as well. The numbers from Cricut Design Space. So that you can use this if you want. And um, same one, just different size. And you can gauge whatever size you want, depending on how big or small you want your flowers. So I'm going to roll this one pretty tight because I don't want it to be super huge since I'm using other flowers for this corsage as well. So again, just roll it. If it gets a little unruly, just put your fingers towards the bottom where the where the flower, the bottom of the flower meets the 
the little metal piece and just guide it with your fingers. Just put your fingers there and just guide it. The bigger they are, um, towards the end, it just starts getting a little messy. They go everywhere. But it's okay. It's still attached to the whole thing, and that's the key. You just want it to keep rolling. So when I get towards the end, I just finish, let it go, unravel it a little bit, not too much. And so it's going to be like a medium size. Again, put some glue. Perfect. And then just let it stick on there. Hold it there for a couple of seconds so that the glue actually stays and sticks. Okay. So that's the medium one. And that's the little rose template. So that's that for now. Um, let's do the yellow ones. The yellow ones take a little longer. I have two petals of the same size. So there's two bigger ones. These I did two and a half inches. These are 2.25 inches. And then these are two inches. So with this, I actually need, let me find my, I use a skewer. Nothing fancy, just a little skewer to help me shape the petals. And what I like to do is just give it some definition and each petal just sort of put the skewer and just push it down. Just put the skewer and push it down on every single petal. It's a little harder on the, on the tiny one, so you use the, the pointy side of the skewer to do that. Okay. And just do that for all of them. We're going to do the same thing for all of the petals, so all six of them. So there's two per, per size. So do the same treatment for all six of them. We're going to style it the same. So we have all of the six petals of the yellow. So we'll start with the, the larger ones, just like squishing them very gently. Looks like I'm doing it rough, but it's not. I just squish them just to seal them up a little bit. Okay, just put a little bit of glue on the bottom of one of them. And then what you want to do is not put the petals on top of each other, but sort of like alternate. So if there's a petal here, move this one over match the circles, but the petals should be alternating. See? Looks like there's petals on either side of that. I'll take the next size. Again, put some glue on the back. And do the same thing. Put it in the middle, but alternate the, alternate the petals. What we're trying to do is just build volume um, for the flower, just to give it the illusion of having like a ton of layers of petals. So we're doing six, but we give the illusion that it has more by alternating. And we continue doing that with the rest of the smaller ones. How cute is that flower? So this one I like to add. I want to add a little bling to this one. So bring out the little all the beads that I have. This is all I own. I don't own a ton of beads. I just own these. It's like one set. And it comes with all these different colors. I think I just want to match the rest of it. I just want to put that little pink little gemstone in the middle. It's pretty cute. So let's do that. Put a little bit of glue. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put the glue on the flower. Last thing I need is to be burning my fingers. Even though I feel like I don't think I have any um, fingerprints left after all these years. All right. How cute. How cute. There you go. Just adds a little something to it. I like it. 
so those are done. How simple are these flowers? Like literally in like a couple of seconds we have all these flowers done. So now these little ones, I'm not going to use all of these. Um, I'm going to layer probably two or three per little petal. But this is going to be like on the side of the leaves. And this is just a cute little pattern that's um, a hydrangea, a little hydrangea pattern. So it's just four little pieces. I just squish them up and just glue them together. Just glue these little one on top of the other. So I'm just going to add a dab of glue here to this one. And just put this one right over it. And let it just stick together. Just gonna put those to the side and let them dry. Do that. In the meantime, I'm gonna glue the greenery together. So these are two um, of what's gonna be like on the rest. So this is what's gonna set up. This is gonna be the entire bottom piece, sort of like the foundation of it. And then this part goes on the top, and it just adds um, little little interest to like the petals themselves. Gives them a little. A little bit of extra life so I'm just gonna glue this on that actually I'm not gonna glue it hold on I'm going to use my ad tech crafters tape I think that's better There, just take it to the edge okay and then this is your base this is what it's gonna look like and that's what it's gonna look like when you have it on your hand so it's really nice it gives it like that two-tone cute um, two-tone dimension so that's that these are probably dry I just want to squish these up I don't want them to be flat I want them to be glue little buds that's what I'm looking for I'm looking for them to be little buds I don't know why I couldn't think of that I could figure that out okay so all the flowers are made let's try and put this together I just made the decision I'm gonna squish these two together like this and then more over and then put the little one on the other side all right so let's glue the white one it's gonna be a challenge because I don't know where I'm laying this out I'm just eyeballing this, guys. Just eyeballing as I go. I'm going to put it towards the end. I want it more towards the end on that side. And then I'm going to put the yellow sort of here in the middle. So let's put some glue here. And let's just attach it and prop it up against the white. Hold on to it so that it dries. And then the little white one I just want to put here on the end. I think this is perfect and dainty for Mother's Day. And then we're still going to add the little pop of pink. So I'm happy with that. Let's just add this one here. Under here. Where's the glue? I should actually glue on it. I think this is cute. I think this is perfect. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. We still have to add the pink and add the ribbon. So let's do that. And this is just supposed to be like the little hydrangea petals. And we just create it like, I'll say it now with this glue. We just create it little buds. Put a dab of glue. Of course, I put a ridiculous amount. And it's just going to go on the little stem. Just to hold it on. Just hold it with glue and hold. And let's 
repeat the same thing on the other side. There's a couple of stems on the other side. We're going to do the same thing. You look at it from the back, it's easier to make sure that they're attaching properly. I think this is so cute. I don't know that I'm going to add any more. I think I'm just going to leave those three. But those three little buds, I think those three little buds need some gemstones. Let's see what I have that's tiny. Three little yellow. That would be adorable. That's too big. This is what we have so far. This is going to look like this. I think this is going to be so cute. I think everybody will love it. Then you take your ribbon. I'm just using plain white ribbon. And whatever the middle is, I'm just going to glue it on there. Just going to give it a nice glue right across. Make sure that it sticks properly. Just do plenty of glue. And then, actually, I'm going to do it this way so I can see. I'm going to take the ribbon and put it on. We have it guys here it is just tie it with the ribbon and there's your beautiful mother's day corsage with a little bling okay don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss future videos have a great day